Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at ATS, Automatic Transfer Switch. So this allows your generator to be hooked up to the transfer switch. And once you lose power, it will automatically start your generator. In most cases, most of these will automatically start the generator for you and take over the load. Once that AC or the grid power comes back, it will shut your generator off it will monitor the grid, make sure it's stable, shut your generator off, and go back into standby mode. So some of these will do that. This one will. This one will. These, they will not start the generator, but they will do the transfer. So if you have a remote start generator, it works really good for that case. So you don't have to go outside to physically turn your generator on. This one. They will automatically transfer the, the generator power from shore power to generator power. But this guy right here will automatically start your generator and so will this one from Westinghouse. Okay, so we have two full automatic transfer switch and these, even though they are automatic transfer switches, they don't have the capability of starting your generator. But for most people, that's okay because once it transfers, you can just push your remote start and get that power transferred. Let's take a closer look at each one of these and so you can see the price difference and feature difference, all right? You don't really need a full automatic. Most times you just need it to transfer the power for you. Let's get started with the uh, smallest one, the ProWatt SW. This one right here. All right, guys, so let's take a look at the ProWatt SW. So this thing right here, it has three cables coming out of it, okay? This one right here is your output to your AC load. So you would plug, like, let's just use a refrigerator, for example. You'd plug your refrigerator into here. Then this one, you would plug an extension going to an outlet from the grid and over here you'd plug it into your power station or your generator all right so once you plug it into the generator right here once you lose power this will ha no longer have power so the pro will switch over with this being your inlet and then you'll power your load real simple easy power comes in from the grid power comes in from your generator you lose power on your grid, it switches to power your load. ATS automatic transfer switch. This one's pretty cool. You have your neutral wire over here, public, inverter, and generator. So you can use three different power sources. All 110 volt, of course. You cannot do 240 in this one. So you would public, the grid would be priority. Next, you'd go to your inverter. If you lose your inverter, then you'd go to your generator. So that's the priority line right there. Pretty cool little unit. You can change the displays. It'll show you all your different um, parameters. All right, so we are gonna test this. I just wanna show you what I have right now, but we'll test them in a later video. Then we come to these right here. These are automatic, but you can also control them manually. So you have your auto switch, manual switch right here. You can actually switch to, this is city power, and this is generator. You can actually switch the source manually. So if you lose city power, it will automatically switch to generator. This one, only 120 volts also. You can't get 220, so that's your neutral, and then that's your hot wire. This is your output right here. So this two right here would go to the load. That would be your generator input. And then this one right here would be your city input. Real simple, ATS. Let's go to the next one. This one right here, you can do 240 volts, all right? Because you have your neutral and three hot. So it's actually three phase. So. This one also has the auto and manual. You can switch manual. So once you get lose city power, if you have it in manual, it will not transfer. 
but if you have it in automatic then it will automatically transfer to your generator it won't start your generator as well this is your output right here input input for your generator and input for your CD power or grid that's your uh, power sources so you can get power to this that's your jumpers will not start the generator but it will automatically transfer your load this is another ATS real good for inverter power if you have an inverter you want to add an ATS to public output to the load and your inverter in this is your battery 12 volt source for this thing and this is your power on the top this one's perfect for inverter and small loads wouldn't put this on the home transfer switch so before we move on I want to show you guys something I like these boxes they have the clear front so if you, if you wanted to install one of these you can actually buy you this box right here and mount this inside okay drill some holes some ports so you can get your wire through now you can just to keep all the wires everything protected you can close this inside and now look at that how good that looks I love this I actually installed my soft start for my AC in one of these next one we have you've probably seen this around this is Westinghouse ATS all right this is called the ST switch it's, it is an automatic transfer switch but they call it the ST switch only for 120 volts so even though it has a four pin twist lock which you're able to get 240 volt it will only have 120 volts but it will start your generator because it has the uh, port down here and over here that's where your uh, extension cord would come in from the grid so once it monitors this loss of power it will automatically transfer to your generator and power your loads right here from the generator it will automatically start your generator but this will only work I've had so many people ask me will this work for any other generator it will only work for Westinghouse generator they somehow did something so it will not work for other generators this one right here is Bridia it's the model number HGAS-01 240 volt rating and it is an automatic transfer switch that will do 240 volts it will not start the generator but what this one will do is once you start your generator it will give you a 20 seconds delay before it introduces the load to your generator so it allows your generator time to warm up before it transfers that load which is really nice so th this would be for your source your shore power meaning grid and then your generator and your load on the bottom so got the key in there so well, that's what this is for it's a nice transfer switch for some of you guys who have remote start something like this would be perfect because once you lose power you could just hit that remote start start your generator it will give it 20 seconds to kind of warm up and then it would transfer the load so this is pretty nice now we come to this one right here now this is a full automatic transfer switch full or ATS you have your CD power generator power the load it tells you it's auto and failure you can actually shut off your generator right here you can go from auto to manual it has a key so it locks so nobody can open this once you open it up you'll see all your, your stuff on the inside your relays the automatic transfer switch the monitor to do the auto start this will automatically start your generator as well as transfer the load all right but this is not I can't find it I have this one but I can't find it anymore so I can't put the link for this one I know that um, one manufacturer is coming out with one I don't know when hopefully soon 
Gen Max. So um, once that comes out, I will have it on my website. So if you have not visited my website, check out gavinsgarage.com or generatorssuperstore.com and you can visit my website and check it out. Once this thing is available, I promise you it will be on my channel for purchase and you can have one so you can automatically start your generator. I'll do a video for each transfer switch so you can kind of see how they work. All the ones we just showed, I will display and demo them one by one. So we'll have a video for this one and all the other ones. Guys, thanks for watching my channel. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. It's free. Subscribe so you can get all these updates and videos. Guys, hit that thumbs up button. Leave me a quick thank you comment. Guys, thanks for watching the channel and have a great day. Bye.